Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox. Last time we started the um, the desert biome. Well, we got some life into it. Our little desert hairs. We are unfortunately uh, today going to <laughs> um, try and... Um, well, today we're gonna try to evolve a eagle. Which unfortunate, unfortunately for the desert hair, we have a quest to um, get a desert eagle to catch, well, an, an eagle to catch one of said desert hares. So unfortunately, they're gonna be seeing some trouble in the future. But for that, we need to, of course, uh, have our dark green rosemary that is above 1.10 in size, and we have that now. So we're gonna try to process this fern, and you may ask, how? How is this one little fern going to evolve into an eagle? That's a great question. I need to research. <laughs> so the eagle evolves from the sparrows we have over here, if I can catch one of them. There we go. Uh, they evolved from the sparrow, but they need spruce trees. Right. And spruce trees evolve from what I believe to be... Right, uh, they evolve from fir trees. But to get a fir tree, we need to complete our forest flora and fauna. Which, you guessed it, requires us to get a fern species. So that is why we are evolving a fern. <laughs> Quite the quite the roller coaster to get a little a little eagle. But that is how it is in little equilinox and it is so fun. So there we go. Here's our fern species. We'll just put it somewhere in the forest right there. You are loving this. A small hardy forest plant uh, with large leaves. It lives in forest uh, or woodland biomes and helps to improve the quality of a forest biome. Um, as long as it's below, as long as it's below sixty, it's happy. It likes forest and woodland. Okay, now let's see our task. We finally completed this, so now we have unlocked two new tasks. Um, those. Being, let's see, honey, I'm home, which is fill a hive with honey. Um, so we need bees. And also, is it totally nuts? It might be the totally nuts. No, it's the mountaineering one, I think. Have a goat eat 20 holly bushes. Yeah, I, I believe that's that's the one. So, fir trees, let's see. Uh, fir trees. A, uh, coniferous, which I believe uh, is the species. Well, not the species, but is... Um, well, it's it's talking about the, the tree's lineage, basically. Uh, it's a coniferous tree... Um, a type of tree, yeah. <laughs> that lives in the snow biome. It prefers uh, rocky areas and high altitudes. It can also be grown in barren lands, which makes it a good tree for starting the creation of a snow biome. Yeah, so above 40, 45. Um, so we're gonna just put it right there. The start of our snow biome. And it likes rocks, so let's put down some rocks. Right there, a couple rocks. A giant stone, like so. And now it is thriving. And to get a spruce tree, we need to make it bigger, and we need bluebells. So first of all, let's increase the size here. There we go. And let's see how we get bluebells. Is it from daisies? It is not. Is it from tulips? 
It is from tulips. We need the tulips to be... Um, okay, so we need purple tulips. So let's buy a, a tulip, a completely normal tulip, and let's put it right there. And let's immediately give this the gene uh, purple in, in two seconds. <laughs> as soon as we get enough points. Uh, there we go. So now this should kind of uh, just grow slowly but surely. And it's not very much in a suitable biome. Do you even like... Oh, snow is a suitable biome, but there's not enough snow yet, so that's fair. Now then, we got that going. It's ironic that we have to evolve our snow biome to get... Um, to evolve our desert. <laughs> um, in my opinion, but it just shows how everything kind of holds together. Now, over here is 100% desert. Over here, it's kind of lacking. For whatever reason. So let's see if we can get some more... Um, some more yucca plant. And also some prickly pears. Did prickly pears care much about... Yeah, they don't like large rocks. That's okay. Well, I suppose they'll just slowly grow out. That's fine too. Um, now the tulip should slowly but surely uh, tr start spreading the purple version. Perhaps. There we go. So we have one purple tulip. And we can start evolving that to a bluebell right now. Which would be great. Because we need bluebells to make a spruce tree. Um, let's see. Oh, someone's hungry. Our little forest hens. That makes sense. Um... They were never really meant to survive this long anyways. <laughs> Not to be mean. Oh, the purple mushroom has by far taken over here. Um, and knocked out its... Its uh, beige brother, brethren. Now let's see. How is it going over here? Right, right. Lush. Yeah, we can't really do much with the swamp right now. But maybe we can get the get the um, riverbed spreading over here as well. So I think kelp I really want to plant right here and seaweed just along this area. And then of course because we have planted kelp, we need to also put some rocks around. There we go. And some stones as well. There we go. Just a really rocky, stony little area over here. There we go. Actually, honestly, I don't like that one rock. <laughs> that one rock bothered me. So let's see. Let's put some kelp over here as well. And it needs more water, so let's just have it over there. Um, Maybe we should also spread the jungle over here now. Just a little bit. So spreads the jungle biome. That would be... Jungle plant. Jungle. Oh, that cost a lot more than I thought it would. What do jungle flowers like? Um, just general jungle. 
and jungle grass is too pricey as well. So let's start it at that. How's our plants up here doing? Oh, we have a bluebell. Okay, so there we go. The bluebell is doing great up here. A small flu, uh, <laughs> flu, a small blue flower that grows in mountain areas, mountainous areas. This plant can only survive in a few select biomes and it must be grown in high altitude areas. So let's remove the tulips from up here now, because we have our main flower. Uh, and as long as they're above 50, they don't really care. Um, but they don't care much where they are. Uh, also, unsuitable biomes, riverbed. At 50 plus altitudes? I'm not sure there would be a riverbed up here. Oh, there's another tulip. We don't want those. Not up here, not anymore. Uh, but the fir tree is actually starting to uh, spread. And it is the right size now. Now it just needs to also have... Um, have bluebells around it. So I'm sure that'll go fast. Um, I once again could... I, I would be interested in expanding our forest out to uh, fit more. Maybe the f there should just be a forest here, actually, and not a swamp. I think maybe that's better. The desert just outlining a forest. But down here, the hares are somewhat happy. Mm, the desert biome hasn't really spread a lot. So let's see if we can spread it a little bit more. With some more small cacti. Like that. There we go. And I actually think I think um if you put a bunch of stones right here. Then uh, both the uh, prickly pear and the small cacti cactus can actually grow here, which would greatly increase the um, well the amount of um, what's it called uh, <laughs> the amount of um, a desert percentage it is over here. I think. Because right now it's not very deserty over there. Let's see. Are you good enough now? No, there's still no bluebells up here. That's okay. I'm sure we'll see some eventually. Some, um... Well, either bluebells down here or trees up here. Oh, there we go. Boom. Spruce tree on the way. And then we need a uh, sparrow up here, I believe. Whenever we got a spruce tree. Um... Yeah, we do. And then that should be should be all. However, it does cost 33. So we gotta save up a little bit. Also, despite all the animals that are around here, I still feel the need to just put more animals in preparation of predators. Because, well, I feel like the predators are just gonna maul these poor animals like crazy. But what do I know? Um, you're not really spreading the jungle, are you? Um, if I can even find... The jungle grass is all the way over here, huh? Well, I'm gonna put some jungle grass right there to help the jungle plant spread. Uh, the jungle biome, a little bit. 
Okay, and now we have evolved a spruce tree. Which is all the way down here. Boop. Right. Uh, boom. There we go. Uh, you have a disliked species? Okay, you dislike large rocks. I am deeply sorry. I had no clue. A tall and spindly uh, coniferous tree that lives in mountainous regions. This tree requires a cold climate and must be grown in snowy biomes. It cannot grow near rocks. Fair enough. That makes sense. Uh, I didn't know. I apologize, little spruce tree. But now we can actually plant more of you. Um... Yeah, see, that's a fir tree. I don't know where the spruce tree is. Up here, apparently. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, Down here. There we go. There you can grow. And be happy. So, let's see. We also need more fir trees. Considering... Um, it needs to spread. Also, fir tree, you need, what, tiny rocks? No, you need large rocks. Okay, well, that was a completely waste of a buy then. Because they need large rocks to thrive. Uh, but let's put a sparrow up here. If we can find one. For 10,000 points. It's snowing! I didn't even realize. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I Yeah, I really like the little details they have in every single biome. Um, okay, the, the sparrow actually doesn't like being up in snowy biomes, so I'm gonna wait until we actually have the, the points to um, immediately get the eagle upgrade which would be about uh, 43 points but until then i will try to speed it up a little bit there we go that definitely helps i feel like we should also put more hairs down in my opinion uh like another group over here so let's uh, let's do that real quick desert hair right there now we have two groups that the eagle can um, eventually go in between. That one little hair is already eating a lot. There we go. Now we're almost at the point where we can get our... Our eagle started. There we go. Now let's see. Let's put a sparrow up here. Oop. And let's immediately evolve you to an eagle. Because you will not survive down here. <laughs> For very long at all. Uh, in fact, I don't think you will really survive to let on any. Oh no, it's doing pretty good actually. Um, somewhat. I think we might have to buy two more sparrows, unfortunately. That's okay. Oh, there we go. That's one sparrow down. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad, but oh well. What can you do? Evolution is harsh, after all. I mean, I could also just put a spruce tree <laughs> down in their area. But I don't think the spruce tree would like that either. So I'm unfortunately having to just put a poor little eagle. Uh, well, a poor little sparrow on the way to becoming an eagle. Right here, in this wonderfully beautiful snowy biome but you guys next time we'll see a real eagle in the desert and 
unfortunately, hopefully, it will catch some um, some some desert hairs. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye bye.